the end of gas boilers. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about gas boilers or the end of gas boilers. Also I'm going to ask you your opinion as well. I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give you my full and honest opinion in this video. Now I have gone down the route of a renewable home. So the renewable journey, what I've done at my house. So I've gone for solar panels. I've had solar panels installed upon the roof, as some of you will know already from previous videos. I've also got now, I've got an air source heat pump. So we can talk to you a little bit about an air source heat pump and whether, whether I think that that's the right solution for you or is, is that right right solution for anybody? Is gas boilers, is that the right solution? That's what I'm gonna try and cover in this video today. So I would really welcome your feedback today because this is, I think this is a subject that's gonna evolve and will we go down air source heat pumps? Will we go down hydrogen? Will we, will we um, have electric boilers? I know there's the Zeb, is it Zeb now that's just come out? An electric storage boiler. Um, so yeah, put some comments below. Let me know what you think to that. And I'll just tell you the reasoning why I thought of doing this video today. I, put, I was talking on Twitter about renewable solutions for different properties and gas or, or what can we use and somebody put which is is a is a really really nice guy totally respected in the industry and he's put ground loops or um plant rooms and this what we were talking about we're talking about for terraced houses so terraced houses where you've got no front garden we're going to put ground loops in or we're going to put a we're going to have a plant room so what we're going to do say to one of the people or you know what we're gonna have to boot you out of your house because these next four houses here, um, they need some heating, so you can't have your house anymore. It just, to me, that's just crazy. It just doesn't make sense at all. Now, I'm all for, I mean, I spent a lot of money on my house to do the renewable journey. So I'm totally, I'm totally up for it. And I want to do, um, I want to be renewable. I want to do as much as I can do. But we've got to be honest about it. And we've got to say, not everybody can afford it and it's not the right solution as well for everybody so i think what i'll do in this video first i'm gonna i'll show you what i've done at my house and then i'm gonna give you my total opinion on whether a gas boiler whether we should still be fitting gas boilers so yeah let's uh, let's have a look around so first of all up on the roof we've got solar panels we've got 32 solar panels and our system, we've got an east-west system. So we've got 16 on one side, 16 on the other side. And then they will produce up to, well, it's a 12, could be a 12 kilowatt system, but actually it produces, it's limited to about 8.2 kilowatts with the inverter that we've got. We've then got battery storage. So we've got Give Energy batteries. And we've got two batteries and then batteries are eight kilowatt 8.2 kilowatt hour batteries so we've got two of them so that's 16.4 kilowatt hours for the batteries we've then got a mixer jet hot water cylinder and what that does is that will heat the hot water for us we can use that we've got an air source heat pump which i'll talk about in a minute um, but we can heat that from the air source heat pump we can also do that on solar divert so we can fully heat the water for free most of the year. When we get to winter, that might be, we'll find out what happens then. And then we've got an air source heat pump. And this air source heat pump, because we've got so much energy from the sun, we can use the air source heat pump to heat our heating. And again, I'm gonna give honest videos on air source heat pumps as we go. Um, on this journey on our renewable journey if you like so first of all let's talk about air source heat pumps do they work there's a lot of talk people saying air source heat pumps are rubbish they don't work they won't heat your heating they won't heat your water whatever that's just total rubbish absolute rubbish the air source heat pump i i haven't upgraded the house yet um i'm gonna see how we go over a winter 
but I've put an air source heat pump in without updating any of the radiators. So we will see how we go with that. Um, we've tested it, it all works fine. We've done heat loss calculator, uh, calculations, and again, it, it, will, it will definitely be fine. Now, there's a lot of talk. When you have an air source heat pump, you have to do things like you have to update all the system, you've got to put loads of insulation in, um, you've got to update all your pipes, all, lots and lots of things. Well, in my opinion, if you're going to have to do all them things, why not do them now before you have an air source heat pump? So update the radiators, put bigger radiators in, make it so you can run your system on a low temperature system. Insulation, probably one of the most important things of all, in my opinion. Let's keep the heat in. Let's not waste that heat. So one, if you insulate your house as much as you can, then you're gonna reduce your gas bills now instantly so let's just do that anyway and the other thing i would say is if we've got a working appliance whatever that appliance may be it could be a tv it could be a boiler it could be whatever if it's fully working why change it you know it, you know yes we want to reduce our carbon footprint but personally i think that we should be updating the rest of the system first that, that's my opinion sometimes that's quick and easy as well so you could just turn your thermostat down it may be that you can just turn your uh, thermostat the, the boiler on, on the front of the boiler if you've got a combi boiler you can turn that down to say 55 ish somewhere around about there and if that heats you if your house still gets warm then that's that's going to be fairly you know uh, quite efficient by doing that and it's cost you no money at all to do that. So as long as it still heats your house, then that could be a solution for you. So going forward, gas boilers. Now, I, I think that gas boilers, I don't think they're going anywhere. And, and I actually think, personally, gas boilers are the most suited for a big percentage of properties. So a lot of properties don't have the space for hot water cylinders. They don't have a space to put an air source heat pump outside. So gas boilers, it's a, it's a box, it's a solution, and it's done and it's finished. Personally, I think gas boilers are here. I don't think they're going anywhere, to be honest. I think we might go down hydrogen. So first of all, they, they're doing the hydrogen home up in, in Gateshead. And we'll have a mix. So first of all, we'll have a mix. And I think that's the way that we will go. So I think they've got a 20% mix at the moment. And then eventually they might have full hydrogen boilers. But time will tell with that. And any targets that government sets, like we're going to have all new boilers by 2035 or whatever they set. Let's see. I, I actually remember as an apprentice... And somebody saying to me, why are, you, why are you going to be a gas engineer? Why are you going to be a plumber? The, the, there's not going to be no gas boilers. We're running out of gas. We've only got a certain number of years left. And I think it was about nine or ten years. This is when I started. And then after a few years, it was, oh, gas is running out. Gas is this, gas is that. And this has been a continuous thing. Now, I realise we've evolved in the fact that now it's about the climate and we want to reduce the carbon that we're putting into atmosphere so i get i get that but personally i think we can do that by first of all like i've said insulate that is the most important thing and then change appliances when they need changing and then when they do need changing choose the correct solution for you at the time things are always evolving so for instance if you've got back-to-back -back property at the moment like a terraced house like i've said earlier then an air source heat pump for me, it's just, there's no way that you're gonna, it's just not the right solution. I've seen a few videos, what other people's put on, um, and one of them's got um, one of them electric storage boilers. Now, personally, I think that that's a really good boiler for certain applications, maybe in a flat or somewhere where you're gonna buy energy overnight on a different tariff. That might work out well for some people, but that's not the best solution in some cases. So for instance, if you've got a bigger property 
and you've got space like I have, an air source heat pump surely is going to be better because an air source heat pump you can get three to one, four to one for your energy. So for one kilowatt you can get four kilowatts energy back out of it, or three or four kilowatts. And 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 their air source heat pumps are getting better. So that might improve, it might be five, might be six in future, who knows? And then air source heat pumps will be cheaper than gas to run. And these are just all my opinions and, and you know people can shout me down, whatever. This is my opinion. Um but yeah, so air source heat pumps might be better in them situations. And air source heat pumps now for my property, when we've done the heat loss on this, it shows that the air source heat pump is slightly better pound for pound than a gas boiler. So for me, with solar panels, air source heat pump is, in my opinion, at the moment, with the knowledge that I've got of what I've done, as I say, I've done all this myself, spent all my own money, testing all this with my own money. Um, I think the SRC pump is probably the right solution for me. If I had a smaller property, um, a semi-detached house, maybe, it may be that I would choose a gas boiler. And I think, if I'm honest, I would almost definitely choose a gas boiler. If the if you've got a combi boiler in already, and you and you want something new, personally, I would be going back for a gas boiler. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. But I would make sure that it's systems all flush properly. The system's as good as it can be, working on low temperature, as efficient as possible. And that's sort of my opinion. So for me, gas boilers, they shouldn't be going and we should do what we can to make them better. Um, but also air source heat pumps are good. So it just depends. And I'm babbling on a little bit now. Um, that's sort of my opinion. Please put your opinion below. I'll try and do a follow up video. I'll always be honest. I'll always give my honest opinion. As I say, I'm not always correct, but I am spending my own money to try this stuff for myself. Because what I see is, I see people with agendas telling us different things. So somebody who, who is totally gas, they might say gas boilers are best. Somebody who wants to sell air, air source heat pumps, they might say air source heat pumps are best. Now, pound for pound, putting a, a new gas boiler in as a swap might cost you two and a half to three thousand pound. If you if you needed a new boiler, if you're going to put an air source heat pump in, and let's say for a minute that there's no government grants because that's what we should be basing it on really. If there's no government grants, your SRC pump's going to be costing you probably anywhere up of 10,000. So starting at 10,000, maybe anywhere to 15,000. So pound for pound, now bearing in mind people are struggling to heat the homes and, and feed themselves at the minute, pound for pound, mm -hmm. you've got 2,500 uh, will knock off the, say we'll say 10 grand, so we've got seven and a half thousand pound left to pay for the the energy the gas that's going in that boiler gas boilers definitely stacks up better in if you if you're an accountant and you're working it out pound for pound then the gas boiler is definitely definitely works out better in my, in my view it does if you were obviously we're not just looking at it pound for pound we're looking at the carbon the green, the green agenda, all that stuff. Now that that's a different subject then. You've got to look at, are you willing to pay more so that you can be green? Now I personally, I am, as I say, I've done all what I've done in this house. So I, person, I personally am, you know, I'm happy to spend my money and try and be as green as possible. Try and, I mean, for me, the solar panels, so obviously my solar panels, they're going into the batteries and I'm getting paid for that energy that I send back to the grid. And I'm actually getting paid quite a lot of money anywhere up to, we've, we've been paid up to 62p per kilowatt hour. So we've actually been, last month we, we took £200 off our gas, gas and electric bills. Um, and this month I took £500 off. So it's like, so I'm down to zero now. And then moving forward, I'm going to track it and we'll, I'll do videos on that so, they can, so we can see. 
I turned my gas off, so in, in previous videos you might have seen I've turned my gas off. So I'm not using gas at all. The only time that I would be using gas is if I were testing any of these boilers and doing any videos on boilers. So that's the only time I've turned the gas on at the moment. But so our bills will just be electricity. We also charge an electric car as well. So the solar panels are charging the electric car and at the moment we're getting money back off off the energy provider. The direct debit that we've got at the minute is ten pound a month. But we've spent a lot of money. So, you know, all this what I've spent so far, easily you'd be looking at thirty thousand pound what we've spent or what you'd need to spend might be even be more than that to achieve it to achieve it so that you can be getting money back and have low direct debits. Now we've got a bank loan for that and our bank loan actually works out cheaper. Um, so we're, we're actually making money every month because the savings is more than what the payment would be for the bank loan. So it is working out really well. So, so there's a solution there, but what I'm trying to get at there is it's different solutions for different properties. And if you've got any questions at all, just ask me. Um, I am doing lots of short videos as well on TikTok. I, I find TikTok uh, a little bit easier to just do a short video uh, rather than these really long ones. And I, I, I'm totally babbling on now. Um, so anyway, that's my opinion on boilers. Boilers are here forever, or they're definitely here for a long time. They suit most places. It may be they are adapted, maybe we go to hydrogen, um, time will tell, depends what the government do. Air source heat pumps again, air source heat pumps, I think that in my opinion, air source heat pumps are really good, but you've got to um, balance how much that cost, you know, um, and if it suits, as I say for me, it does. So yeah, that's me. Any questions, put them below. Um, Thanks for watching.